Hi, my name is Vicki Meek, and I am speaking to you from Dallas, Texas, the stolen land of the Wichita, Caddo, Cherokee, and Comanche. And I'm making this video to pay homage to my friend, Maria Lopez de Leon, to talk about her life and her career as it inspired me. I think one of the things that I want to talk about is Maria's understanding of the fact that it's a long game when we're talking about fighting for equity for people of color. She's been in this fight for several decades um, and has never lost sight of the fact that in order to gain any kind of traction in this fight, you need to build alliances. And she's been very good about building alliances across ethnic and cultural lines. Um, and I've watched that in her career throughout. You know, she's, she's always been one who builds bridges rather than puts up barriers. The other thing that I think that's really important about her that it is throughout her years of leadership and she's, you know, she's been in the forefront for some time. She's never not made space for mentoring the next generation. And that's so critical if we're going to be building something. Uh, Maria was always aware that in order for us to move forward, we have to make sure that each generation is prepared to do that. And so she's always made space for that next generation in, in, in the way of mentoring. Um, the other thing that I think it's important to talk about is the fact that even though in this field for many years, the leadership roles were primarily held by men, Maria was one of the few women in the leadership of a national organization. And she served brilliantly in that time. So I wanna thank her and say, Godspeed on your retirement, even though I know you probably won't be totally retired. And I look forward to working with you in the future because I know we will be hanging out together, sis. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye, y'all. Hi, everyone. This is Alexis Ortiz coming to you from the unceded lands of the Lenape Delaware people in New York City. I was honored to be asked to submit a video in recognition of Maria Lopez de Leon's many years of service to Nalak, to Woka, and to the field more broadly. Maria, I don't know you extremely well from a personal perspective, but I hope you know that the work that you have done over these many decades continues to inform and inspire my own work and that of my colleagues in this field. Um, what I appreciate so much about your leadership is your brilliance, your determination, your strength. You don't always need to be the loudest voice in the room or at the front of the room, but you are a person who does the work. You weave networks, build communities, make connections, create spaces for us to be able to come and show up as our authentic full selves, to learn about ourselves and each other and to build towards the future. And I hope you know that your impact continues to live on in my generation and the seeds you've planted will continue to bear fruit for generations to come. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, really. Gracias. Hello, Tiffany Vega Gibson here calling in from New Orleans, Louisiana. I am so happy to join you today via video um, to talk about Woka and my dear mentor and friend, Maria. Um, being supported by women of color has been one of the most important reasons for my success, both personally and professionally. I cannot stress the importance of having a group of women in my community that know that I know that I don't have to explain my culture to or my experiences to who automatically believe and understand my truth and who can share their experiences and guidances with me. And I can also share my guidance with the younger and older generations as well. Um, when I reflect on this year's theme for Woka, Unbossed and Unbothered, I mean, that is what women of color are to, in today's world. I feel like we are all unbossed and unbothered. We are doing what we want to do, how we want to do it, and who we want to do it with. And we don't need anybody's permission to be our authentic selves. And when I think about Maria and her service to the field um, and how that has led me to think about 
my own service to others, as well as some service to myself. I mean, Maria has been such an important person in my life for over a decade. I have participated in all three of the leadership institutes that she helped found, the NALAC Leadership Institute, the NALAC Advocacy Leadership Institute, and the Intercultural Leadership Institute. Um, organizations, I've also worked for organizations um, that have been grantees of NALAC. Um, and so she has been very influential in my professional life. Um, but what I've learned most from Maria is what I called quiet leadership. Those who know me know that I am loud, I am blunt, and I am sometimes crass. But Maria showed me how to be the most powerful person in the room, sometimes without saying a word. I have seen her show up to the offices of politicians, of big fancy foundations, and huge arts organizations, and make widely impactful changes in our field with just a few words. Her experience, her tenacity, her protectiveness, and her fierceness speaks for themselves. She has made me a more thoughtful leader, a friend, a colleague, and a mother. And I am grateful to count her as my mentor and friend. Mwah. Besitos, Maria. Besitos, everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. Miss you. Hope to see you soon. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Shana, and I'm um, incredibly proud to participate in this um, tribute video to Maria Lopez de Leon. I'm calling in from Portland, Oregon, the ancestral lands of the Kalapuya. And I experienced Maria's leadership as a participant in NALAC's Advocacy Leadership Institute. And, um, you know, I could tell that the organization and the shaping of the institute was an extension of Maria's leadership. Um, it was an incredibly rich and um, intentional institute that was focused on relationship building, um, opportunities for solidarity with other, with other communities, not just the Latina community. Um, a really, you know, a really gracious and um, generous approach to leadership. Um, and I'm, that, that my experience in that, in that institute was incredibly impactful. It really shaped my understanding of advocacy. Um, and I, I directly attribute that to, um, to Maria and her leadership. So thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Adriana Rios, and I had the honor of working with Maria for several years at NALAC. It is a joy and an honor to be invited by Wolka to shower Maria with some virtual praise. And while I can't be there in virtual person, I hope you'll join me in celebrating her today. Uh, to be a woman of color in this work and in service to our arts communities is often to recognize who has helped pave the way and invited you to step into this commitment with them. While we may come to recognize and at times be pretty let down by the tremendous forces that are against us, it is the presence of women and leaders like Maria who also help us see the shroud of love and sisterhood that guides us, protects us, and strengthens us to continue the fight. Maria's service to the field has been one of quiet but firm strength. She has led with patience and a dedication to making room at the table and at times building the table herself. Um, she has weaved a beautiful tapestry of cultural workers, artists, and ed arts administrators to be in conversation with one another and to have the shared goal of seeing the arts continue to bloom as an integral part of our society and our well-being. She has shown me personally that the table is never too small or too crowded. Maria simply said, thank you just isn't enough to capture everything you have done. I hope you know how cherished, admired, and celebrated you are in our community. Gracias, gracias, gracias for your service, your leadership, and your mentorship. May this next season be one of peace, of generativity, and being unbothered because you've long been unbossed as a boss. Un abrazo y te quiero mucho. 
Thank you for inviting me to this tribute to my friend and colleague, Maria Lopez de Leon. I am Rosalba Rolón, um, calling in from uh, the Bronx in New York City. More than 20 years ago, Maria and I began to work together along with a great team via the National Association of Latino Arts and Cultures. Maria, you lead with such knowledge and conviction and grace and determination. You dream, you make, you build within and across cultures and generations. For example, a conversation in San Antonio over some tacos about the need of Latinx artists and cultural organizations to have a greater presence in the national arena led to the Advocacy Leadership Institute in Washington, DC, including several visits to the White House and on and on. Now, like leadership institutes are great testimonials of the impact of your presence. So on behalf of the national community and collaborations that NALAC has built under your leadership, I say gracias, Maria, and we will get together very soon for that well-deserved toast to a bright future for you and your family and our community.